Welcome everybody and uh, welcome to the certificate distribution ceremony from World Academy of Design and congratulations to all the designers who are receiving their letter of completion and certificate of level one and level two CAD designing today. It brings me pleasure to inform you all that since its launch from last three months, World Academy has trained more than 25 jewelry professionals on level one and level two CAD design training. And we are, we are glad to see the kind of responses our student has provided to us. The amount of hard work they have given in the course is amazing. So keep up the good work and make us more proud. Congratulations once again. And uh, now I would like to introduce Mr. Tarun Jain, who is the Managing Director of World Academy of Design. Mr. Tarun uh, is also Honorable Honorary Director of BRICS Chambers of Commerce and Industry and German Jewelry Trade Council of India. And now I would like Mr. Tarun Jain to take the proceedings of this ceremony. Thank you, Mahima. Congratulations, everybody. First of all, all the designers and uh, my sincere congratulations to their families because a lot of family members of the designers are here. They must have uh, must be having a lot of hopes from this learning. And uh, I congratulate them and welcome everybody today for the uh, for this award function. Although our designers have not yet completed the training because training is divided into three parts. Some of them have completed level one, some of them have completed level two and soon they will be all going to level three. This training is divided into three levels so that students can get time to learn, understand, practice and then excel slowly according to their pace. Every designer, every person has not same skills and same speed. That's why we have uh, done it this way and a lot of designers, they they have a passion about jewelry but they realize it's not their field so that is why at level one they quit they think okay we have another field to practice out of hobby some people uh, join in level one and then they decide not to go further but those who are really sure that they want to go into the jewelry industry they must complete all three levels so without uh, any further delay I would uh, like to thank, uh, first of all, our, uh, our mentors, our supports from uh, various countries. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Mr. Lizar Mukhtar uh, from Saudi Arabia. He's, uh, he's the honorary ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the first Saudi expert in the field of jewelry, trade and industry in Saudi. So he's an experienced gemologist, gem and jewelry consultant for the last 40 years. And he's one of the founders of Precious Metals and Precious Stones Committees and Vice President of Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Riyadh from 1995 until 2005. We are really honored, Mr. Nazar, to have you as part of our team and supporting us from Saudi and expanding uh, your supporting hand is really great for the designers of Saudi Arabia. And uh, presently, he's a member of the specialized committee for preparing and developing training curriculum for precious metals and gem gemstones manufacturing in Riyadh. So uh, we really thank to Mr. Nizar for his support. I will later invite him to speak and talk to the designers. My next thanks is to Dr. Gaetano Cavalleri. He is the president of the International Conference of Jewelry, which is SIPJO. He is the president and uh, he uh, is busy in some uh, important meetings. So he sent his message to us. He said, Dear Tarun, please convey to the young designers my message of appreciation for they are doing now and hopefully in the future. Congratulations and best wishes. He is the, uh, we can say he is one of the topmost uh, people in the in the jewelry organizations who controls the business the um, the parameters the rules and regulations of the industry sidjo is the organization that sets the rules for the industry so he's uh, sidjo is headquartered in london so that will be really helpful our sincere thanks to dr gaetano then another message is from mr marco carniello from italy he is the head of Italian Exhibition Group. 
uh, we all know there was a jewelry uh, dubai uh, jewelry exhibition for last many years he is the head group head director of this jewelry exhibition called italian exhibition group the vicenza oro exhibition happens under this banner and uh, he has sent a sincere message which he is also busy in meetings right now i congratulate all 25 designers for this important achievement i am confident these competencies that mix creativity and technology will provide to all designers the right skill set to be successful in the jewelry world and that's really very true because the designers have creativity now we give them technology to convert their creativity into a reality that's the best part of it and that's what everybody is realizing now that technology is really important to uh, include with the design and ideas he further says i am honored to be part of the waod community and i want to thank mr tarun jain for supporting the industry of jewelry to grow bigger and better and we really uh, hope to see all of you in one of our jewelry shows and events in italy and in dubai looking forward marco carniello thank you mr marco for your message and your invitation and we will really take your invitation seriously i am uh, i'm sure the designers will be really uh, happy to travel to italy and other jewelry shows and we look forward for your support so now we start with the uh, first of all miss reema who is uh, also very important key factor in the growth of the work world academy of design in the initial stage she has been uh, with us from day one and she with along with mr nizar has supported the the industry the designers and connected actually so i would like to uh, speak uh, about her and then she is also learning the course along with the designers she has done masters of evaluation and assessment from ksu university usa then uh, digital marketing professional and she traveled from saudi to dubai specially to explore the opportunity of training for saudi designers imagine the passion she she started from zero from she had no idea what is jewelry designing what is 3d cad about where it is happening how are the trainings happening so she traveled specially to me and she discussed how we can do it and we explored this during the covid situation that we did started online training so she is uh, she has done a great job she is also our uh, consultant and counselor for the ksa forward academy of design and she is also representing gem vision for the uh, gem vision usa for the saudi market she says i am proud that you gave me the opportunity to work with you and help in qualifying arab gulf designers and share the opportunity to learn with the largest number of designers to make a quantum leap in designers performance and improving the jewelry industry in the arab gulf countries so thank you reema and uh, we congratulate you for your crossing clearing the first level we uh, give you the letter of completion for this and we hope you will grow with the designers further so uh, let me tell you the program we will be uh, showing you the designs and the letter of completion and certificates of the designer along with their introduction and after that we have uh, the jewelry industry uh, people from uh, dubai jewelry industry from kuwait from bahrain who will also speak a, a, a bit about every designer and they will give their best wishes so i request everybody to be with us during the full uh, event this will be a very interesting journey i'm going to tell you stories about designers how from different field they came into jewelry how they have the passion for jewelry designing and now they feel that they are really uh, it's their field they can do it we have doctors we have engineers we have scientists who have done jewelry designing with us so uh, i welcome mr chandu siroya vice president of dubai golden jewelry group thank you sir for joining us and uh, i will invite you later on for the for your words now next designer is badria uh, al harbi from saudi arabia she has done her ma in metallurgy and jewelry design she is training in traditional jewelry design she has her own training courses in traditional jewelry and she decided to learn 3d with us so she has learned uh, she has done two levels with us 
I congratulate her for completing this successfully. And these are her designs. I want uh, everybody to have a look at her designs in level one. This is, remember, these, these designers have, this design, what you are seeing are level one design. Level one means only seven days of training by Ms. Mahima. She's our the instructor for these students. And only seven days of training, imagine what they have designed. So their creativity has been in their heart, in their brain for years. And the moment they got a tool in their hands to design, see the creativity, what they have done. So next, all these designs with the uh, designers is there, will be there on our website, wordacademyofdesign.com. Yeah. Uh, now next uh, is Asma Al Hamid. And Asma has also master's degree in administration. She owns an e-store specialized in selling silver jewelry in KSA. And recently in 2021, she launched her first collection. So she decided that let me go into fine jewelry. And Asma has done really well. She's one of the brilliant students and uh, she has uh, amazing designs. I want to show you her designs. This is again level one learning. See the rose gold ring, the pearl ring and this double surface with uh, special smart pattern. Um, smart pattern. There are a lot of uh, automatic commands that, that can create such designs, but you have to have that thought. Unless you have the thought what you can, what you want to do, the software cannot make you do what you, uh, what you cannot think. So see the thinking process of the designers and see the chain with the with side pieces. I'm sure all these designs will be something unique that you will find them unique All the jewelers over here and the designers. So this is, I will just go back on uh, Badria's designs. So she has done like a planetary uh, design. I don't know, galaxy. a galaxy <laughs> and then a pearl uh, with stars and then double surface and golden pearl and a beautiful necklace. This uh, is a new concept actually I've seen. And then the next one is this by Asma. And we will see more of their designs even they when I show you the level two. So next is Wafa Alantali. She is a software engineer by profession from UAE EU. Then he has, she has done a master's in engineering systems and management from uh, Mazdar Institute, Saudi Arabia. She has a passion, she had a passion for art and digital design, which led her to join us in the learning of CAD. And she started her own jewelry brand called uh, Antali Jewelry in 2019. And then she suddenly, when she realized that yes, CAD is there, her designing has totally uh, evolved in a new way. And we recently saw uh, the, the Mars orbit design on the Instagram she posted and she's very creative one of the uh, most hardworking hard hard designers. Um, and I'll show you her designs. This is again, level one learning, only seven days of training uh, on CAD. She has made this Jali bangle, the ring with the Jali. You can see the yellow gold side pattern, then the necklace with five strands and the flower earring and pendant. I mean, this so, is the best example of the dedication that she has in the jewelry designing because it's amazing to see how only with the help of basic tools, only with the seven sessions she, she has created yeah, these designs. Uh, let me explain you in level one, the, what do we teach? We only teach using metal. We don't use any stones, gemstones, only learning with forming, different forming of shapes of metal, different tools to use metal chain, metal shapes, everything to do with only metal. We don't go use a diamonds at all. Only pearl we added and see how much they have explored with the metal. Next, we move on to Anouf Joharji, uh, a fifth generation of family business in jewelry. She is so lucky that she is in a jewelry family and she, is, uh, she, wanted, uh, she thought, okay, yes, let me explore my passion in jewelry. She's a general director also of Joharji Jewelry, a very young uh, student and a diploma from the uh, al hikma university of uh, manual manufacturing she has done already in manufacturing course drawing coloring jewelry 
and she has experience in testing evaluating designing and marketing so she is all set to take up her family business and i am glad that she is joined uh, decided to learn latest 3d cad designing and you can see her uh, design her ideas how amazingly she has done in just level 1 this was such a unique butterfly she has created with enamel work twisted wire was a command there is a rope builder command and she created a butterfly out of rope builder this was very in innovative experience and see the hoops with the jali and the pendant with arabian uh, with arabic motif the islamic uh, style and the use of mill grains over a plain ring that makes it really unique it's such a simple command but they have really made it unique so congratulations uh, anuf now next we have nadia alghamdi uh, and she is also from saudi arabia from the ruby batch she is uh, she has a certificate in jewelry design from future institute she is already learning jewelry she won third place in saudi designers Con contest at jeddah gold fair in 2017 and she is also the owner of brand she has her own brand called viral let's see her work so uh, these are the designs of nadia she has made chains and uh, pendant with uh, with the motif and this is this is innovative you can see the musical uh, Musical, musical components in the chain then we have sama hair she is also a, a budding designer from ksa and she has uh, with with family commitments i have not seen such people such students such dedication like with the family commitment they are trying to learn and this was like classes were from 4 pm in the night in the evening till 9:30 in the night and they are handling the family as well as working learning and making designs this was amazing then we have wafa al sulaim wafa al sulaim is a professional researcher deeply passionate about jewelry and jewelry designing she has several certificates for uh, jewelry science also and she is so passionate about jewelry that she wants to do everything and this really supports her uh, we really feel so uh, happy when a student is really uh, enthusiastic and uh, strongly they want to learn they want to learn it fast so i have seen a very big enthusiasm in her and she is really trying hard and she will definitely uh, achieve her goals we, we will support everybody now we have uh, hala hala is uh, also another uh, very uh, budding designer she has made amazing designs with smart builder and see the designs you will be uh, you will see the variety of rings she has made with the with the wires we only give them the ideas like this is what you can do and then they explore themselves because the software has a huge library of components so they take the components from there and they applied on the ring so different components making it bigger smaller increasing the numbers it's up to them this is not an automatic design this has to be thought and created so see all four rings are unique then next we have thana al sunari thana is also one of the bright students a graduate of computer science and information she met her passion recently with the beauty of art when the beauty of art met the intelligence of a computer these are her wow, words that's incredible so she is a computer science uh, engineer and she says when the when her passion met her heart so this came out so thana has uh, also has good fundamentals in 3d designing and graphic design so with graphic designing skills she could really do very well you will see her amazing designs in level 2 category here in this designs you can see the texture on the shape she has made a cut out this is simple by tracing we can create a 3d design and then she applied texture on it so choosing which texture and will suit on which design and then making earring linking putting a chain bell this was all fun in 7 days and we were really surprised that the way designers have really Uh, performed 
Next, we have Rafan. Uh, she's an ambitious designer with three years of experience in designing. She loves innovation and designing. And her dream is to create her own brand and jewelry. Then we have Fatin Alamri. Fatin has a GIA diploma in diamonds, gemstones, and minerals. She has been drawing since 2009. Now, this is really a touching story I want to tell you. We met Rafan during a seminar. We were doing a free seminar and open to all seminar. And then Rafan was there. And while I was talking to the students, she shared one of her drawings. And I saw the design. I said, Rafan, this is beautiful design. When did you draw it? She said, 10 years back. She said, in Saudi Arabia, when we go with our designs to the jewelers, they say, no, you cannot use diamonds. Uh, sorry, uh, Fatin. So she can, she says, uh, she said, uh, we, the designers, uh, they say, the jewelers, they say, we don't make with diamonds. We don't, you have to go to Dubai, you have to go to US to make these designs. Nobody makes it here. So she said, my designs are lying in my file for 10 years. I said, Fatin, let me show you, let me bring your design to life. And you won't believe next day, I kept a special one hour workshop with her and other designers. I said, I will create right away your design in front of you into 3D. And she, after designing her piece, it took two hours actually in the workshop. And she said, I have tears in my eyes. I can't believe that after 10 years, my design has come to life. And then she decided later on after, after a year that workshop happened. So now when we started uh, the academy, she joined the class. And today, see what she's creating. So this is uh, a great story of people who have uh, thinking in their mind that they want to do something, but there is no tools, no, no um, efforts uh, to convert your ideas into reality. This is what the matrix has done to us. Congratulations. So Fatim. congratulations to Fatim and uh, her family, if uh, anybody is there online. So until she met her, uh, met us and her passion took another dimension. So Fatim has a quote to say, she said, I always painted my dreams with simple white paper. These are her words. <laughs> she said, uh, I always painted my dreams with simple white paper and framed it with precious stones and golden strings to spark the dream and become a tangible reality someday. And Fatim, that day has arrived. So your designs will be seen by some great jeweler and they will ask you to design for them. You will really find somebody who will, uh, who will be a match for you, who will support your designing and you will definitely excel. Next, we have Arij Ben Kadem. She's an also innovative designer from Saudi. Arij has been also a very hardworking designer. You can see her creativity, see how hand of Fatima she has created with such fantastic textures. She has used two colors, yellow rose gold and white gold and see the earrings with pearl setting. See, uh, from jeweler's point of view to all the jewelers over here in the meeting, you may see some faults in the design, some technical faults. This is because they are still in level one. They have not learned the fine tuning, the filigree, the linking, the complete technical. Once they reach level three, then I will see your expressions. <laughs> So it will be, it will be really, uh, you can appreciate the efforts, the initial efforts, I would say. If we say the schooling is from grade one to grade 12, they are still in grade five. This is first five levels. So this is a grade five design. Don't uh, look it at from full expert point of view. You may see the thickness, the linking, but soon, uh, although everything is 90% perfect, the thickness due to recording for according to the casting and the height according to the weight, this fine tuning will be done at a later stage. So we will train them slowly, slowly on fine tuning their designs, which they have created in level one. Congratulations, Areej. Congratulations to you and your family. Now we have Miss Mariam Almazmi. Uh, Miss Mariam, you are one of the most hardworking designer I've ever seen, I must <laughs> yes. say. 
because uh, her computer uh, she <laughs> she uh, her computer is not capable of learning <laughs> matrix code and so we provided her a computer in the academy so she could log in and work and i can tell you 7 o'clock in the morning she is on the computer <laughs> 2 o'clock in the night she is on the computer <laughs> i can't believe a person <laughs> family is working day and night and she has a small baby too <laughs> so that's that was really fantastic and you can see her creativity see her designs and by the way uh, jawahara jewelry they recommended her uh, she she has been supported by jawahara mr tawahid so we are really grateful to him also for uh, uh supporting the designers uh to develop their skills and uh, see the see the work what she has done with uh, with enamel and white gold and rose gold so that's a pendant with bigger star on top and smaller at the bottom it's an amazing uh, creativity and the ring with really black on x so since they are in level 1 in level 2 they have there you will see the transformation in level 2 the fineness in the design So, well done ms mariam congratulations congratulations to you and uh, remember there is a big language understanding gap between us and all the designers the most of the designers are from saudi and kuwait so there is and mahima is doesn't know arabic <laughs> they don't know english so there is a uh, there is a communication which ms reema has really helped us okay. to transform to translate alongside lot of things not everything and then uh, uh, designers have also really worked hard to Correct. follow the commands okay. and practice we have made a whatsapp group where they post their questions and we try to reply and support them now next we have is uh, shaha shaha is uh, from saudi again and she has also done quite hard work she is a very young designer and she is uh, like a family in american and arabic family she is a part uh, instead of uh, like in spite of having troubles online online network issues she has all, she has done really well okay. and very uh, supportive in terms of uh, other students in class if somebody is not yeah. able to understand she supports how to connect wire <laughs> how to uh, get um, like for any technical issues she supports other students so well done for, shaha congratulations shaha well done we don't have all your designs then here comes <laughs> mr raid mr raid i can <laughs> see the <this> smile <laughs> on you so uh, mr raid is here with us on the camera and uh, he's from kuwait and uh, syrian national living in kuwait he's a jewelry designer and goldsmith now for about 20 years he owns a private workshop and specializing in traditional gulf jewelry so he's a is a goldsmith and he has a lot of creativity in his mind when he he tried to learn courses from different possibilities wherever he could find he jumped into it and he learned so he tried to he made his effort to learn and i think here he got what he really wanted you can see the tracing i mean see one the, of the brightest student that we have is mr raid so very well done mr ravi your hard work is visible this is unbelievable <laughs> tracing what you see the bird and the leaves he has traced it from the image with the with the help of software there is no automatic system and every petal is smooth and he is really uh, challenged all the ladies in the groups <laughs> by by his tracing <laughs> <laughs> it's a unbelievable work and uh, then see the texture he has applied on the on the design with white gold and yellow gold and the rings in the rings and cut out also he has applied textures and uh, on the side pieces in the chain so he's doing amazing and i'm really uh, happy that uh, developing the trust uh, and emphasizing more on on the technical part next Mr. Tarun uh, thank you very much thank you yes <laughs> Definitely. If you allow me, me too. I have special thanks for Mr. Raed because we've been very blessed to have him part of our batch. <laughs> yes. He supported us very much, especially in private on private chat. He's yes. been always super helpful, trying to repeat and helping other students to uh, to achieve exercises. Absolutely. So that I forgot to tell. Thank you. 
thank you so much stephanie to add that because he helped other students in the class to understand to translate from english to arabic and uh, it was really uh, helpful so uh, stephanie you are a french she is a french national living in uae for the last 5 years her passion for jewelry started from a workshop at gia she completed diamond course and now joined 3d to expand her skills in designing and building her own brand she has a dream to design collections inspired by vintage pieces and bringing her personal contemporary touch to them and we have seen her work see the amazing work she has done i want everybody to see the kind of cutouts and textures applying the textures with two colors of gold so she has done an amazing work see the texture on the cut out ring and the white gold and yellow gold and plus there is another angle to see on these designs the presentation of the designs right. so the way you place your design and take the screenshot is also very important to see the depth to see the back side front side the complete design is visible because the light camera and the background contrast also makes a difference So congratulations Stephanie for a fantastic work you are going really good you are really hard working yeah. student yes 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 very thank you so much next we have Fatima Fatima Albatal from Saudi she studied metal and jewelry formulation and after she graduated from university she started selling jewelry for a year and now she decided to learn matrix gold and she thinks that it would really help and i'm sure yes it will help we have seen uh, amazing work from her and these are this is just one sample i could put together for the presentation she has also see the depth the distance between the white gold and yellow gold this this shows the understanding of the of the metal of the concept and the texture she has used so congratulations fatima thank you uh now we have nora uh Nora is a, a bachelor in computer programming, masters in advertising and marketing, and she is a head of administrative unit in a government department. Certified international trainer in management. See the the skills, and she is learning jewelry. So this shows that it is there in your heart, it is there in your mind that you want to create something. And she did interior designing diploma, and uh, she's jewelry designing diploma also. and she has love for innovation and creativity then we have dr abil uh, uh, i will like your special attention mr chandu uh, and uh, mr nizar uh, this is dr abil is an emirati frontliner during the pandemic she is a doctor who finished training in surgery then joined the surgical icu in dubai the link between her profession and jewelry is because of the connection between passion and her soul so she started her journey with jewelry art by end of 2019 but during the covid outbreak she had to be dedicatedly in her full time to the icu by uh, with her patients so during complete 2020 she was with her patients in icu but she could take out time in the night to design to learn she joined evening classes i cannot believe and she scored 100 marks in theory she could not <laughs> do, do the practical because of her uh, engagement yeah. Yeah. Uh, we really salute her uh, her the efforts dedication. and dedication and she scored she read each and every word of the manual she didn't left anything and yeah. she scored 100 marks in uh, in the Beautiful. theory exam amazing dr abir congratulations so by the beginning of 21 she found this amazing opportunity with world academy of design to breathe again and these are her words i'm just reading so to breathe again and start jewelry design with matrix gold so after her 12 hour duty in the icu designing helps her recharge her power and soul in these extraordinary circumstances so our salute to uh, dr. to dr abis uh, thank you so much thank you thank you i appreciate it then we have uh, next we have is uh, uh, basma basma said she has uh, she is also from saudi arabia she is a brilliant designer and you can see amazing creativity what what imagination what image she has 
chosen. Although this design is not yet finished, she will be working further on this, but she has uh, she has amazing creativity. Okay. Congratulations, Basma. Congratulations, Basma, for your efforts. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And your family also, I think, uh, if, if uh, people have joined from your family. Now we have uh, <laughs> Mr. Hussain. Uh, Mr. Hussain is uh, from Bahrain and a photographer, a former banker, expert of trading in gold sector, a specialist in the field of management science, a developer of investment projects specializing in precious metals. And Mr. Hussain has an extraordinary skill of design thinking. That's what, that's my understanding. And he oh, decided really to add 3D skills in the treasure of his talent. So uh, he, uh, I, I want to show you student. his design. Yeah. And uh, another brilliant, hardworking student in the group who always helped us in translating into Arabic. And we are really proud of you, Mr. Hussain. So you can see his work the, the texture on the ring, the white gold chain, the intricacy of the, of the pattern, because these patterns are not like the way you see it. They, you have to assemble it to make this design. So he, incorporating the design uh, is really tough. Mm -hmm. And uh, the butterfly, the way he has uh, innovated it as a pendant and put a pearl in the hanging is really amazing. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Hussain. This was Thank really you. great. I really appreciate it all because of um, Madame Mahima, she worked very hard with us and she, you know, tried to explain once or twice, three yeah. times, sometimes yeah. she stays like for half an hour just to explain exactly how to give, uh, you know, the correct figure to everyone. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely. Our, our, that's our effort that we want you to succeed by anyhow, maybe it takes time, two hours, three hours. We, we try to, uh, un unless you understand it, we will not leave you. So next we have Afnan. Afnan is a founder of AQ Jewelry. She has her own brand, AQ Jewelry. She has a keen interest in jewelry and gemstones. A prize winner of the best design in the International Jewelry Saloon 2017 in Riyadh. So congratulations, Afnan. You did very well always seeking for the development, uh, for continuous development. So that was uh, also one of the uh, designers who put full effort, her computer did not work. So she requested uh, us that's not working. We provided her a computer from the academy and she worked uh, on it. So this was, this is, we see a lot of dedication from every student. Every Congratulations, student. Afnan. Uh, then Thank we you have, so much. Thank you, Afnan. And we have Itzaz, uh, Itzaz Muhammad Al Rusari. Now, I have to tell you something about Itzaz. Yes. Imagine she does not understand a single word in English. Miss Reema told her, Afnan, it will not be useful for you. You will waste your money. Don't attend the class. She said, No, I will. And even if there is no translation, I will follow the instructor and do it. And you can't believe what she made. See this. And this is just seven days learning. Excellent. Uh, it is no excellent. extra classes, no extra time, just during the class. And other students supported her. Yes. yes. But this is totally her dedication. So uh, she's the most courageous designer, I would say, from, okay. uh, from Saudi Arabia, studying Bachelor of Business Administration at Imam Muhammad bin Saud University. She's a fan of jewelry design. Her ambition is very big and I, inshallah she will achieve it. She's optimistic that she will have a registered trademark by her name. This is her dream. Uh, and sir, you can give me just uh, a moment. I, can, uh, I want to share something. Yes, um, sure, every, sure. Day, every day, I just ask her if you need any help, just buzz me, no worry. I, at WhatsApp, even any kind of communication, she's, she told me that uh, the first, uh, from the first time, from pre, uh, first, uh, the, you know, just one time, I, I just translate what Mahima said. Mm -hmm. um, I, jumped, uh, I jumped to her after the class, she said, I'm fine. I don't need anything. And oh I was uh, <laughs> you know, amazed when I saw her uh, 
uh, designs. That's why I really, yeah, I agree what yeah. you are saying. That it is us. Yeah. She wants to reach something at that. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. She's really, very intelligent, courageous, well done, it is us. Next, we have Albandri Alkamis. Uh, she has a degree in languages and translation from King Saud University. Then she's interested in the world of jewelry and took various courses in jewelry. So she has uh, learned a lot from different courses. And now uh, she learned how to draw jewelry by hand. She has done sketching as well as she learned drawing in iPad mm -hmm. and she done AutoCAD. So AutoCAD is also an engineering software. See the, the passion in a student. She's trying to learn drawing, then she's doing on iPad, then she explored the designing on AutoCAD. So she learned AutoCAD and finally perfecting her skills on matrix code. So Albandri has uh, done these designs. You can see she has a really different okay. aspect of thinking. If you can see the, this ring, whatever designs she made, she makes, she has a thinking process behind it. There was one design where the links were very thick. So I asked her, why did you make so thick links? She said, Mr. Taro, this is a design. I said, okay, fine. <laughs> because I thought she's using a link as a design. So there is no limit to design thinking. And I'm sure uh, we will have amazing uh, designers coming out from from the from this these trainings now this design also you can see the white gold ring white gold plate underneath usually we remove the base plate after we make the design on top but she said i want this design like this although making this will be another technique but uh, that's what she likes and uh, really amazing albandri you have done well congratulations, congratulations to you albandri. thank you and now we have uh, shuruk Shuruk Altineji, uh, Tinaji, uh, she's a passionate uh, designer from, uh, from Abu Dhabi, works in the exhibition and conference sector, bachelor's in business, sciences, marketing, and master's in international affairs. What a vast experience and good that you are here and you joined us and you uh, made the designs which are really outstanding. I don't have to uh, speak about the designs. Every every designer's designs are speaking by itself. I feel I should just keep quiet rather than speaking. Everybody has something unique in their designs. So uh, you can see the white gold integrated ring, uh, the yellow gold ring, and this milgram really, uh, this freezed the computers. This yeah. was such an yeah. intricate design. She had to purchase, uh, she bought a computer because her MacBook freezed. Then she has to return that computer because the new computer also freezed. Now, finally, she bought a desktop, which is working fine. So uh, she, and she said, I want to make intricate designs. I said, you buy the top of the line computer. So we, uh, this, this was really passionate and really nice of her to experiment. So she's another intelligent and hardworking student from the group. So very well done Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Then we have uh, Noor. Noor is from Bahrain and she's just 19 years old and a student in Salford University. Her main major is marketing. And she is also lucky to have a family business of jewelry, Alawi jewelry in Bahrain. And she's looking forward into jewelry designing to help in the family business and to add the modern touches that are trending today. So uh, our uh, really congratulate, uh, congratulations to Noor. You Beautiful have done work. amazing work. And uh, uh, the understanding language issues are there with everybody and with you also, I'm sure it will not be easy to understand the English training, but you have done really something unique, something new. So and I'm sure uh, yeah. soon when you uh, go in the next levels, you will be really creating new uh, new milestones so now we have fatima fatima is from saudi arabia she's 21 years old a young e-commerce student and a jewelry designer and she wants to start her own business by learning cat design that's a really great great uh, idea of uh, doing and you can see her designs the way she has worked 
I mean, she's the perfect combination of innovation and uh, intelligence. The way she used to uh, put hard work in creating all these designs were amazing. The moment I received her project work, I was like, wow, what beautiful creation. So congratulations, Fatima, you've done really, very well. The pendant you see at the, the earring piece, you see at the bottom with the white gold and yellow gold, this is actually, there is an automatic command to put the gold around the, the metal around, but she has not yet learned it. It's in level three. We asked her, how did you do it? <laughs> she said, I did cage, I did with simple commands. She did a complicated work. <laughs> <laughs> this was really uh, so nice to see the way uh, the students have really explored the, the capabilities of the software and you can see the rose gold and yellow gold butterfly. So our congratulations to Fatima also and now we have uh, certificates of completion for uh, level two. These are just seven certificates and after that we will proceed with the further program. So you will see the level two designs now. Again, Anouf has completed level two, and uh, now you can see the change in the designing. This is uh, level two, designing of level two, which is next seven days training. So those who have uh, completed level one, they have now uh, started with level two. So this is uh, working with diamonds, working with uh, rubies, emeralds. We try to give them some projects, like some sample pieces, and then they create uh, with their ideas, their changes, the, they make the designs. Very well done, Anouf. Congratulations. Very well done. Thank you, Mr. Tarun. Thank you, Ms. Mahima. Thank you for, yeah. for your effort. Thank you. Then we have uh, Asma. Asma's level two designs. Please have a good look. I. I made a separate slide just to bring up the designs completely so that they're visible. The, the use of colors, although the sample is there, but still use of colors is really important understanding for every designer. Tracing this and polar array and different commands is not easy to develop this design. I wish I could show all these designs in 3D, how amazingly they have created it, but we could not uh, do it because of the time constraint. And the rings in different colors, with blue sapphire so congratulations, congratulations to asma. asma good work and really hard work then we have badria badria has also uh, done really uh, good work with different colors and very innovative designer uh, i would say she's although she's training uh, students on traditional jewelry but learning uh, for a cad she's a fresher i would consider yeah. a fresher in cad so it's uh, seeing that it's really amazing. Congratulations, Badria, you're very hardworking. Then we have the certificate for Miss Mariam. Congratulations, Mariam. We will share all the certificates with you on email, the digital certificate, and whoever wants to collect the physical certificate, we can uh, provide that from Academy. Or if things open up, we can really uh, share with you. Now here is uh, Mariam's designs. You can see the, the creativity and imagination. In the rope builder also we can have one thicker and one thinner rope with one rose gold and one yellow gold. Really amazing work. Congratulations and Mariam. The prongs on heart shape she has used different, different uh, like double prongs and prong head is also thicker. This is all small small intricacies that you can develop in your design shape of the prong tools are there it's just the imagination how you can explore how you can convert your ideas into reality then we have nadia nadia alhamdi and uh, congratulations nadia for completing level two and these are her designs very good work nadia excellent and uh, i can tell you i must tell you that they are working day and night we receive designs even 2 a.m. in the night on the group, and we try to post all the all the uh, all the best designs. Uh, with the, if they have any corrections, we suggest them to correct, and we post it on the social medias, and we are promoting them. And amazing work! This is all uh, very unique and very creative. If you see the baguettes uh, supporting the ring with the with the prong, it's really a nice concept. Then we have Thana. 
Thana is uh, also completed level two. Congratulations, Thana. And these are her designs. Well done, Thana. Congratulations. This is uh, again the channel setting of blue sapphire ring and then the play of colors and shading of colors in this pendant is really amazing. So everybody has done a different kind of setting, although the design we have provided, but then making it actually is, is that's the difference. That's the every designer has their own concept, which is unique. So congratulations, Tana. Well done. In, in level two, every student becomes hardworking. <laughs> if level one, they take it lightly, but when they reach level two, they become so hardworking, you cannot stop them. They, they will not let us sleep at all. <laughs> so Wafa, uh, Alantali, congratulations. And uh, your design is amazing. Your work is amazing. I have used your design on, on the promotion of this event also. Thank you so much for your efforts. Uh, Wafa is there? I'm here, sir. Tell me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And uh, she's from uh, Fujera. I think she's in uh, Fujera. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Fujera. It's oh, great. Good to see your designs. Now, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Tawahid Abdullah and uh, for his support and his uh, motivation to the designers, to us, and Mr. Chandu Siroya, the Vice Chairman of Dubai Golden Jewelry Group. Sir, would you like to please a uh, few words to the of the motivation and your thoughts, please, Mr. Chandu? Uh, today, hi, first of all, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I must say I am motivated today. <laughs> Me motivating is different. I, I think I am motivated. I, I just uh, saw those amazing creations by amazing people, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure the teachers were also amazing. Uh, I, I saw that there's a banker who has become a designer, there's a doctor who has become a designer, there's a student who has become a designer. So actually it makes me very happy because uh, when people from different walks of life start designing jewelry, I see a bright future for jewelry. So yes. thank you guys and girls uh, for taking up this uh, designing passion of yours and uh, I hope that you will create wonders which will be recognized all over the world. I saw one lady, uh, she has actually designed her name, uh, the logo also as a pendant. So that was also very, very nice. So it's, it's a good concept. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I, I would actually like to ask a question. Sure. No, please, since, please, sure. since all these designers have uh, developed all so many amazing concepts, amazing uh, different fields of jewelry, how do they plan to take it forward? What is their idea? Are they trying to uh, uh, engage with a manufacturer to make some of their jewelry pieces come to life? Or are they doing it only as a passion to learn? Or are they planning to be in the jewelry field in the long term? So it would be very interesting to listen to them uh, talk. And uh, I, I can only say congratulations to all of you, uh, the teachers, as well as the students. Everybody has done a fantastic job. And I'm amazed to see so many beautiful creations. So welcome to the Jewelers Fraternity. Wafa Antali, I think you would be, uh, Wafa or Stephanie, you would be able to answer what Mr. Chattu is asking, like how you want to use these skills now, what you're learning, what is your future plan? Um, so I was uh, planning after finishing the course to look for some brands to collaborate with, to like uh, design for them until I gain like experience in the field, in the industry. So later on, I might be able to uh, start my own brand because I already started, you know, I sent some of my designs for the uh, yes. manufacturer and I also sold, still uh, sold some of them. Uh, but it's, uh, it was not easy uh, budget wise. And um, I didn't have that much of uh, customers. So I thought maybe designing first will be uh, a more wiser uh, decision, maybe. Um, so for me, I think uh, I will start by designing for the available brand. That's, that's, a, that's a wonderful uh, thought, Wafa, because a lot of students, they also ask me, do you think we should, uh, we should do? Uh, so the first thing is you learn designing, then you practice designing, you start freelance, and then you start employment or you start your own brand. So this is a step-by-step -step learning, but once 
you have learned driving you can think of going on the highway if you have not learned driving you can't even drive uh, in the parking so if you are in going into jewelry business you must learn cat designing that's my way of comparison <laughs> So, there is a huge difference between the traditional art that I used to do and yes. uh, CAD designing. N now I also know uh, what uh, what should I do in the in the design so it will be uh, I will be able to manufacture it. Mm -hmm. I'm not just designing something that I will not be able to produce. Yes. And it's also Good. thanks to you, Doctor uh, Sir uh, Tarun and Mahima. You are teaching us all those uh, fine details about. Mm -hmm. uh, all those details that we should include in our design. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rafa. Thank you. Rafa. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chandu, any other question you would like to ask the designers or you want to make an offer to them that uh, how the way gold and <laughs> jewelers, jewelers can support me? Just, just ask me because uh, jewelers can extend their support to the new designers, You whatever you suggest. Uh, you see, what I would suggest is uh, once they have uh, developed uh, more skills, because uh, level one, I don't think will be enough for production oh, of the design. Level three. So once, they've developed, yeah. they, once they've developed the requisite skills, uh, they should try and produce some of those uh, pieces and then see how the production is. And once they are confident about that, then they can switch into the jewelers, uh, different jewelers uh, and uh, the designers, the brands, everybody. So they will be serious about it. But um, I, I think they need to carry on this uh, training for a few more uh, I, uh, sessions and uh, then they will be uh, able to produce jewelry which is going to be sellable in the market which can be scalable also. So, And if anybody wants to try their experimentation of their jewelry, uh, maybe we can help them. You can share our contacts and we can try to produce their jewelry for them. Sure. That will be sure. very helpful. Yeah. It will be very helpful. We we really uh, we uh, we suggest them to once they have completed the course, we suggest them to do an internship because yeah. now in the COVID situation and they are in different country, they can do internship with the jewelers online. Like you can give them work, they can create the designs. That will be their learning. It's not an employment; it's just an internship. So maybe one month of working, and once you give them feedback and like they are fine then they can think of starting manufacturing good luck to everybody yeah. thank you so much thank you for your support you, and we have uh, a message from uh, ann ong she's one of a very renowned uh, jewelry designers from uh, new york just in the morning she uh, said she sent the message congratulations to all the graduates of world academy of design each of you have done amazing designs that will make people happy continue to shine and always believe in what you do this is a very important message always believe in what you do i always tell all the designers when you don't think what is selling in the market this is there are two concepts to work. One is what is selling in the market and you are just a manufacturer of that design. When you say, I'm a designer, then design what you like. Find out your choice of color, find out your choice of style, find out your choice of themes and then put that into the jewelry. Then once you like your designs and believe in that, then you will find the right client for that. That's the way you develop your brand. And marketing will, will give you that exposure. Sales don't happen just because you start making what people buy, that everybody's making. So this is uh, an important message from her. Sharing your talent and creativity through your designs will give you many blessings. And you can connect with her on Instagram and on this there, very creative designs. Uh, you we, must take inspiration from her yeah. creativity. And our uh, now we I would like to uh, request Mr. Uh, Nizar, to uh, to please uh, share his views and uh, he has been a really big support for us from day one and uh, he has always motivated us supported us from uh, all aspects i would like to uh, request him to say a few words to the designers and if you want to talk to them and dr madhukar has also joined us after mr nizar i would request him to uh, speak on behalf of bricks chamber of commerce Okay. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. rahim I am very uh, pleased today and delighted to be uh, a part of uh, this event. First, I would congratulate all the de designers. They are uh, re really, they are creative and talented and 
I, what I've seen is, is, is astonishing. And uh, also, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Taron and Ms. Mahima and uh, our consultant, uh, Ms. Rima al Hasemi, for the great efforts uh, they are making uh, for the, the, this academy. And uh, they, they, they have put into the, 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 this project. I also would like to uh, welcome our honored guest. Uh, I believe uh, that today is very important not uh, only to acknowledge uh, to the achievement of our designers, but also uh, to shed the light on uh, the value of implementing uh, this technology in the jewelry design uh, and how essential skill it is in this field. Our designers, I am very proud and I am uh, I, of every one of you for achieving the solid steps in uh, your career. I have no doubt your uh, potential and capabilities in taking jewelry designs in Saudi Arabia and in the Middle East uh, to a comparable level of, the, uh, of what uh, we see worldwide or even uh, better. I encourage every designer uh, to take uh, the level two, level three, and uh, work very hard, uh, uh, train very well, and uh, until to, to get a graduate. So uh, the, the, the academy can help or support to, to get uh, employment and or uh, an internship, as Mr. Taron mentioned before, or even uh, support you to uh, get your uh, own business uh, if you wish to. Uh, really, uh, I, I am very proud what I've seen and uh, I wish you uh, the best of, of luck for all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank, Thank you so much, much. sir. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Uh, Dr. Madhukar, can I request you, uh, please? Okay, Mr. Tarun. I must compliment you on this very very historic occasion yes sir. because your organization has done something in that part of the world yeah. where people have been used to buying jewelry but they yet do not know or did not know how to make the best of jewelry design mm -hmm. which is acceptable to majority of the people using them. You have provided this technology, you have trained people in this domain, and those who are being trained will shall carry your flag in all parts of the world, and they will show to the world that in very intricate designs can also be done without much effort. Yes. The effort is only the input of technology. It is the technology which is going to bring about transform, transformational change in the entire absolutely entire absolutely. entire industry. Very I true. compliment you for the great effort done by you, Very and true. and congratulate all the people you know who are receiving the certificates for completing completing their course in a successful manner. I I wish your endeavor, your enterprise, and your initiative all the best. May God bless your organization and your effort. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so thank much, you sir. so much. Mr. Nizar, uh, I would like to tell you about Dr. Madhukar. He's uh, right now the Director General for BRICS Chamber of Commerce. And uh, he was also the Chairman of MMTC. He has been a Chairman of MMTC for many years. A lot of innovative things that MMTC has done was under his guidance. Great. It's a very honorable honor to me to be with him in, in, in this time. So I wish to see him uh, uh, face to face uh, later on. Sure. sure. <laughs> Thank you. Really. Thank you. My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. My pleasure. Sure. So that's the last. Our uh, thanks to, to Jamvision, uh, to Mr. Chris Berger and the whole team of Jamvision. Our sincere thanks to them for the support on the software and on the uninterrupted support they have provided to our students. So thank you very much. And we have one more guest. Last, uh, I would request uh, Miss Betty from Kenya. 
she is uh, from the miners association of kenya ms betty can we have uh, a few words from you okay thank you very much tarun and the team at uh, world academy of jewelry design um those students were absolutely amazing and um from where i sit and looking at their achievements i can only imagine how you can transfer these skills to the african people that are mining gemstones mm -hmm. and these students can come over they have my invitation mm -hmm. to come and do their practicals uh, in kenya mm -hmm. and uh, kenya is a very friendly country very open and uh, we have all manner of colors of gemstones but i'm so impressed by their artistic uh, culture. They've got very good uh, finishing on their work. And I wish them all the very best. And Tarun and your team, you are absolutely fantastic. Congratulations to the team. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much, you Mr. So much. Uh, Mr. Raid, uh, now we, I would request uh, uh, two, two students, two or three students to give their uh, thoughts. Mr. Raid, can you please uh, say something about what your experience is and what you would yes thank you uh, uh, first time uh, i live in kuwait i uh, i have a market uh, i have a shop okay uh, we have uh, we have a problem uh, in this uh, in kuwait we make uh, the design and after maybe 15 days or one month, they are uh, another market, copy it, and we, we will start until zero. But uh, with the matrix or the program like matrix called or, uh, any program CAD, we can make uh, design, they, they can't, uh, make copy easy uh, and we can uh, design this uh, 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 we can't uh, make by hand okay there's uh, there's very skills in in the, the program okay so this okay. this uh, the software will help you uh, in solving yeah. these problems and calculating the weight, reducing the weight, whatever is required. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. You. And how is your how have your learning been uh, in the online? How did you find the online learning? That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We can Fantastic. see from your from your designs. So, Ms. Thana Alsuneri, can I request you to tell us about you? I am from Saudi Arabia. Uh, I grew up and work in the northern region. Uh, I am an academic, Saudi academic. Okay. Uh, actually, I like my work, uh, but I found it's better to, uh, to uh, um, take a serious step uh, in my talent. Uh, and so here I am. Actually, uh, in the upcoming period, I entered to work as a CAD jewelry designer. Mm -hmm. uh, also, um, uh, later on, um, I hope I found my way to establish my own my own brand. Good, that's wonderful. Uh, and Fatin, uh, can we have a few words from you about yourself and about uh, yes. your experience? Uh, yes, salam alaikum wa barakatuh. Um, uh, hello everyone, uh, and um, I didn't know what to say, but Mr. Tarun, you said uh, uh, lovely things, and uh, you, you've always encouraged me, and uh, I'm so proud to be with you, and uh, with the, 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 these lovely designers, uh, and uh, I'm saying just um, uh, Ms. Mahima, uh, you are uh, a lovely personality, so patient with us. Thanks. And uh, you t you've always tried uh, to learn, uh, to make us, uh, to get uh, the better of us. And uh, your easy way to uh, give us these lessons, uh, 
since uh, level one. And I'm here in level two, and I I see myself uh, in a good progress. Uh, I would like also thank uh, thank um, thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, Tarun, about this opportunity. Uh, you said to me um, year ago uh, that yeah. you will say it. I uh, will learn uh, Matrix Gold because I'm. I don't know. I'm an, an old school girl. I love drawing by my hand. And I say to you, this is easier to me. Uh, technology oh, and uh, the program is so difficult. I, I don't know if I will uh, go in it. But here I am with you now. Uh, and uh, I'm so happy. Uh, I hope uh, I have my own brand in, uh, brand in the future. Yes. Inshallah. Sure. Uh, inshallah. Uh, and... Um, uh, I'm uh, very honored that uh, Mr. Nizar Mukhtar uh, mm -hmm. is the ambassador here in KSA for the okay. academy. Uh, and he's a very supportive uh, person in this field. Uh, and I will give just a word for the designers here in Saudi Arabia. We have a group called Jew uh, Saudi Jewelers that I am in. Okay. Uh, I hope you, my friends, uh, you are the elite of the designers here. If you uh, take this le these lessons in the gold matrix, mm -hmm. it's a shortcut mm -hmm. for man. Yes, for for from you mm -hmm. and to the uh, factory to give your piece. It's a, uh, it will be ready to ma uh, to manufacturing. Yes, yes. So true. it's a lovely shortcut. Yeah. I uh, encourage you to learn Matrix Gold uh, with the Academy. And uh, good luck for everyone. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. We have Wafa Antali. Wafa Antali. Um, so I just, I just want to say that I'm really gl glad and honored to be uh, uh, part of the ceremony today. And I want to thank everyone for their kind attendance to join our uh, celebration. Um, I think World Academy of Design is, is the best place to start our career. Like it's the first step. Learning the CAD program from you guys has really have been a really amazing trip. You take care of all of the details. You never, um, you give us all of your knowledge. Like any question we have, even the silly questions you will answer. Um, so I'm really glad that I joined this course. Uh, and I, I will. I am encouraging everyone around me who is interested in jewelry uh, to join also the course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wafa. Thank you, Wafa. Thank you so much.
Thank you very much, everybody. I would request everybody to please unmute your mic and give a big round of applause. Just first round of applause for everybody who has who has achieved. I'm in public. I cannot talk more. Miss uh, so Betty, thank you so much, Vinita, for joining us. Thank you so much, uh, Achara Jituji, for joining us. And thank you so much, Mr. Suraj Jain, for your contribution. And uh, a big bye -bye. congratulations to our designer. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Oh, oh, oh.